Welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rock Hound. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Almost done with my degree, so I'm back to rock hounding, and this will be the first of many to come. So today I'm here out at the Vernon Wonderstone area. This is a well-known rock hunting area. We've already got some other people out here digging away at it. And we're just gonna see what kind of patterns we can find in this Wonderstone. And if you would like to know exactly where this is, I'm gonna post some GPS coordinates up here for everybody to follow. So there you go. And we're just gonna get at it. We're gonna look around and see what kind of Wonderstone we can find here. A lot of times when you're digging here, some of the nicer pieces will be very dirty and you can't really tell but when you look closely at a broken spot you'll see that they're actually quite nice inside and quite often a lot of pieces get missed just because they're so dirty they're hard to see good reason to bring a spray bottle and <laughs> we unfortunately forgot the spray bottles today but I do have some water I can pour on them in case I need to to see if they're any good okay let's get to digging Let me wash that off. Show you how this one looks. This has got a nice pattern on it. There you go. So that's got a pretty nice pattern looking on it. That'll make something nice. Just found another one that looks pretty nice. Take a look at that one. It's got some nice colors and patterns in that one. Yeah, we'll be keeping that one. We can make some nice stuff with that. So I haven't dug very much as you can see, but they're coming out. Some nice pieces here and there. Okay, that's not a very nice piece. <laughs> that's a better looking one. And yeah, it doesn't take long to dig through this to find some nice stuff. Oh, take a look at that piece. That's nice, isn't it? I like the patterns in that. Good swirls. Whoa. So I just, I was just hitting right there and broke this one right here. And look at that. Whoa. It's beautiful. That's what the other side looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like it's got a yolk inside. It does. <laughs> That's a nice one. In chemical weathering, what it does is as the atmosphere and oxidate, you know, oxygen and other things work their way into the rock, they will oxidize or alter the minerals to form up and that's how they show up in these colors and that's why they form in the bands and you'll see that the bands will follow where the natural fractures are in the rock because that's where the weathering is taking process as water and oxygen get down into those cracks oh. chemical weathering <laughs> oh let's go ahead and bust this one open just to see what it looks like because it doesn't look the greatest there but maybe it looks better further in Whoa! Well, look at that. That's not too bad. And now I know the surface that I want to cut. So it looks like I'm going to want to cut this like that. Whoa. Nice. Ah, there we go. <gasps> That's Wonderstone. Ooh, wash it off. Let's wash that thing. That is what you're looking for. This is what you're trying to find when you come out here. So I'm getting in here a lot of loose stuff that doesn't have much dirt in it. And down here we've got stuff that has dirt in it. So this stuff was recent. So this is probably not good to look through. I'm not gonna find much. So I need to come back here where there's more dirt, where the stuff has been buried for a longer period of time. So I'm gonna continue going that way. Ah. <gasps> <laughs> Might be the other side of that one. Oh. Look at that thing. Wow. Look at that beautiful piece. Yeah, we're adding that to the, <laughs> the pie. We've got some large pieces here. Let's see what they look like. Uh, see, from this side it doesn't look like much, but from this side, you can see it's got the pattern of those other ones. So you want to cut these in this direction. 
Well, that's staring at me. Ooh. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. It's not as big as the others, but it's got those patterns you want. There we go. Another nice one. Beautiful. Now, this came out of the same spot. I'm pretty sure the inside of this is gonna look a lot like those, even though you can't see it. So this is where the natural fractures of the rock existed before anybody dug this, and this is where the chemical weathering's happening. That's why you can't see into the rock. This is a complete piece. And if you look at the very bottom where it's broken, you can see it's got the stuff. We're gonna keep that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm starting to get down into close to the bedrock because I'm getting a lot of consecutive pieces. Like the one that, that connects to this one is right here. So we should be getting some good stuff coming out now. Yeah, another complete. See, another one of those. And then if you look at where it's just barely exposed, you can kind of see the patterns. We're in the good stuff now. <laughs> All right, let's get this one out. Boom. There it is again. And we got another one here off the side. <laughs> Whoa. Once again, you can't really see it. But it's in there. It's in there. This one you might be able to see some. Let's see if we can wash it off. Just one big circle. Ooh, it's but that's cool. neat in its own way. Oh boy. More good stuff. And uh, this next to it. Whoa. What's that next to it? <laughs> that's the best piece. More good Look stuff. Wow. What else do we see right here? Oh, more good stuff. Uh, okay, that one might not be as good. Ooh. Another one of those. As you can see, it's got it in there. Whoa. <laughs> oh boy. There it is. Oh, <laughs> that is a good piece. It's gonna be huge. Look, oh, that's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. What? There you go. <laughs> There's you some wonders, too. Yes. So you guys get to have the hole because I got to get out of here. Yep. Because I have to restrict myself to one bucket because I don't have much space at the house. There's too many rocks. <laughs> so, <laughs> we brought three buckets. I'm back from the dig at Vernon. We got some nice pieces. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. Washed them off a bit. This one's quite nice. Got the patterns in that thing. This is definitely the better side. This one had a nice little yellow center to it. Really liked that one. This has got a bunch of tight patterns. Really small ones all over. <laughs> That's pretty cool too. This one I liked the pattern right through here. 
It's like a tree there. So I like that. This was my favorite one. <laughs> kind of looks like one of those like African ceremonial masks or something. Maybe this way. <laughs> Either way, pretty darn cool. And this one just had a big circle on it. Really nice stuff overall. I did have a few other pieces that I collected, but you can't really see anything on yet because I got to get them cut. There you have it, some really nice Vernon Wonderstone. I do like that place. I go out, you know, every couple years just to get some more stuff, but it's great. It's easy to find. It's a wonderful location for just about anybody. The drive up to it's pretty easy. It's not far off of a main road. You don't even, you don't need four wheel drive. Uh, don't even really need high clearance if you take it slow. Now I do want to kind of update you guys now that I'm back. <laughs> yes, I'm back, back to rock hounding pretty close to done with the master's degree. I'm past the difficult parts, and so now I've got more time. So I'm gonna be back out rock hounding. I'm gonna try be uploading a video every week. Um, the pieces that are kind of large and stuff, I do wanna eventually cut those. I currently don't have equipment for that. I just have a small tile saw, and that's mostly because we're moving around from apartment to apartment right now. And until we have our own house, yeah, this actually isn't our house. We just live in an apartment over here. <laughs> we uh, eventually want our own house. And when we do, that's finally when I'm gonna get all the bigger equipment so I can start cutting things, cleaning things, polishing, all that fun stuff. Eventually I will get to that point. So this is a new year. This is a new year of rock hounding. And after, you know, several months of rock hounding on YouTube and just kind of finding out what you guys like and getting more familiar with it, I've noticed that really why you guys come here is because you want to see me rock hound. So I'm going to try and mostly do rock hounding videos and occasionally do other little things like cut things or I don't know, whatever comes up, I guess. I'm also going to change the formats of the videos a little bit. I've been thinking about it. <clears throat> looking at them and I'm gonna try and cut down the fluff I guess you could say <clears throat> and really make the videos about rock hounding just good old get out there rock hound show you guys what I'm finding tell you guys about it educate if I know more about the area and also just have fun you know and, and I hope that's what you guys want I do appreciate when you guys let me know what you're looking for your suggestions because I really want to be able to do stuff that's fun for you guys and one thing I've really been thought of, thinking about and this is where I kind of want your help is I really want to think about rock hounding in areas that are not well known where they're not in books they're not just published everywhere especially if I can just find things that on my own you know and that's what I'm gonna try and push for mostly with this channel is try and go to the places that are not well known let me ignite <laughs> so guys let me know what you think about that and yeah that's the plan for the future because like I keep telling you there is treasure everywhere <laughs>